Wales beats Ukraine to advance to World Cup. Ukraine had ridden national pride and emotion to the cusp of a berth in the World Cup in Qatar. But Wales had a story, too. Cardiff, Wales, when it was over, when the referee blew his whistle and the crowd roared in Ukraine's dream of a place in this year's World Cup was over, most of its national soccer team dropped straight to the grass. The rest simply stared into space. The scoreboard confirmed what, in that moment, even the Ukrainians themselves could scarcely believe, Wales won, Ukraine zero. A World Cup qualifying journey laced with symbolism and spirit and national pride, an opportunity delayed three months by war and reaching its denouement on a day that had begun with explosions in Kiev, the first direct airstrikes on the capital in a month, had ended not in triumph but in the cruelest of twists, defeat to Wales on an own goal scored by a Ukraine forward, Andriy Yarmolenko. The most important game of our lives, Ukraine defender Oleksandr Karaveyev had called it less than 24 hours earlier. And for weeks, he and his teammates and their countrymen had treated their war-delayed World Cup campaign as such, a chance to bring joy to a nation desperately in need of it, a chance to showcase their pride in their jerseys, in their flag, in themselves. Continue reading the main story. Fueled by hundreds of daily messages from friends and family and frontline troops urging them forward, and thousands of fans from the growing Ukrainian diaspora who had come out to support them, the players had pushed past Scotland on Wednesday to move within a single victory of the World Cup. One group of soldiers had sent a more tangible token that they were all in it together, a signed Ukrainian flag. It hung, again, in the team's dressing room on Sunday. Ambitious goals, FIFA has given up on a plan to hold the World Cup every two years. But its president's plans for the future are bold. Female referees, following the selection of three women among the World Cup's 36 referees, the event in Qatar may be the first edition of the men's tournament in which a game is refereed by a woman. Golden Sunset, this year's World Cup will likely be the last for stars like Lionel Messi and Cristiano Ronaldo and a profound watershed for soccer. Senegalese pride, alias Cisse, one of the best soccer coaches in Africa, has given Senegal a new sense of patriotism. Next up, the World Cup. They make only one demand, midfielder Tara Stepanenko had told the Guardian of the messages he and his teammates had been receiving for weeks. Please do everything you can to go to the World Cup. But it is Wales, not Ukraine, that will be headed to Qatar in November, to a date with the United States in its opening game. That was the other half of Sunday's story, another tale of fraught emotions and high hopes and national pride. Wales has not played in the World Cup since 1958. To push their team over the line on Sunday, more than 25,000 of its fans had packed Cardiff City Stadium, the team's intimate but boisterous home, with their energy and with their voices and with a dream of their own. Continue reading the main story. A half hour before kickoff, they were already in full voice, belting out a full-throated rendition of the folk standard YMA Ohide. The song's chorus, We're Still Here, spoke not so subtly to the mood in a country happy to host Ukraine on Sunday but just as happy to beat it, too. Wales, its players had made clear before the match, had also come to Cardiff to win. We'll be the most popular team in the stadium, that's the main thing, the Wales captain Gareth Bale said on the eve of the game. We understand the awful things going on in Ukraine. Our hearts go out to the kids, families and people of Ukraine. But come tomorrow, it's a game of football. We want to win. Sunday's match was, in the strictest sense, a winner-take-all affair. The victor would claim one of the final three places in the World Cup, which kicks off in November in Qatar, completing a group that in addition to the United States includes England and Iran. The loser, whichever team it was, had the inadequate consolation that, like every other country eliminated on the road to Qatar, it could try again in four years. Ukraine had not qualified for the World Cup since 2006, its only previous trip to the tournament. But Wales had waited even longer, and it had waited three months for the chance to complete the job. Its semi-final, a 2-1 win against Austria, had gone ahead as scheduled in March while Ukraine's was postponed and Russia, increasingly a sporting pariah, had been thrown out of qualifying altogether for invading its neighbour.
Bale had delivered the blow that mattered in the 34th minute, lashing a 25-yard free kick past a defensive wall and toward Ukraine's goal. Yarmolenko was only played in position to intercept the scorching shot, but in the steady rain he turned it not to safety but past his goalkeeper, Georgi Bushchan.